I figured if I was going to die, he was going to have to work for it. So I rushed him, and it actually worked out to my favor. One of the paramedics asked me about myself, and I told him I had a four-year-old daughter. And uh, that's, that's when it really kind of hit home. I love this guy. I mean, he's a class act in every respect. I just uh, am impressed with him. He's, he is a hero. <clears throat> you're, you're under fire like that. You don't know what you're going to do. Could have easily been killed. But he said, look, I was worried about my own life. That's OK. Uh, but he saved many lives uh, as well. And the law abiding citizens of this city are everybody. And we want our rights, and we want to keep our rights. And by God, we're going to keep them, come hell or high water. Man. I love that guy, too. He's unbelievable, is he not? That's not a professional politician. He didn't take speech classes. He doesn't have a PR agent. He got up there, smooth, articulate, right on. Nailed it. Boom, boom, boom. The Second Amendment was never intended to permit mass slaughter. When the Constitution was written more than 200 years ago, the framers' goal was to permit a well-regulated militia, not to enable Americans to terrorize their communities. No, 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 no. Illiterate when it comes to history, he is. I'm convinced this is why he won't debate me. The fact of the matter is he just chopped off the front end of the Second Amendment. That protects the individual right to bear arms. The second part of it, the militia, the purpose of having a well-regulated militia was so the states could have their own militia and, if necessary, use it to protect themselves against the federal government. We know that. Since the Trump administration and during his campaign, they have continued to terrorize our immigrant community members through their immigrant... Well, if immigrant community members are being terrorized, why the hell do they want to be here? Why would you come to a country that terrorizes you? I'm so sick of the left and their self-serving hate speech and propaganda. They do not support securing the border. Then when people get here illegally and even commit violent crimes, uh, they claim they have due process rights then with the whole system is gummed up, where are all these cases going to be heard? How are they going to be heard in a timely fashion? Where will all these people live or, or reside during the course of this litigation? You see, it has consequences that are intended to drag the thing out and make it difficult, if not impossible, to deport criminals. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.